Happy Monday, and welcome to another episode of Cases That Should Have Gone to the Supreme Court of Canada, but didn't. Today we're talking about murder trials. Cases that should have gone to the Supreme Court of Canada, but didn't. Mark Moore was charged with murder, and the Crown adduced a lot of evidence to try and prove that he was guilty of the murder, including intercepted text messages, rap lyrics, and other information about Mr. Moore to show that he was involved in the murder of another individual. At trial, Mr. Moore elected to have a trial by jury, meaning that he put his hands in the fate of people who were not judges. And throughout the course of the trial, the trial judge inadvertently referred to him on a number of occasions as Mr. Murder, asking the jury then to disregard his inadvertent statement referring to Mr. Moore by the offence that he was charged with. Mr. Moore argued that the trial was unfair and that the jury instructions were not properly given as a result of the fact that he was prejudiced by the judge's reference to him as Mr. Murder throughout the trial. And ultimately, he sought leave to the Supreme Court of Canada, who dismissed his application. And this case raises very important issues. Obviously, people make inadvertent statements uh, all the time, accidentally substituting the right word for the wrong word. I've done it in these videos. but. To refer to somebody by the offence for which they are charged on more than one occasion in front of a jury of people who are not legally trained is a significant issue. And the Supreme Court of Canada had the opportunity here to get really into where mistakes by trial judges during the course of a trial can be cured by jury instruction and where they become too prejudicial to be cured by a proper jury instruction. There are situations where some mistakes by trial judges should result in a finding that there's been a mistrial or should result in an acquittal being entered potentially by an appellate court. But the circumstances here weren't considered by the Supreme Court of Canada. and. If there are other situations where trial judges are making inadvertent statements that prejudice a jury, there is a real lack of di direction by the Supreme Court of Canada as to how to deal with this particular problem that likely does come up more than we want to think. Unfortunately, the Supreme Court of Canada is going to have to deal with another case involving strange circumstances like this before it has the opportunity to really give direction to trial judges as to when they maybe have made a few too many inadvertent statements that compromise trial fairness to the point that the trial cannot continue. And for Mr. Moore, that's not going to be this case. Cases that should have gone to the Supreme Court of Canada, but didn't. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Cases That Should Have Gone to the Supreme Court of Canada But Didn't. I'm Kyla Lee at Acumen Law. Thank you to Brazen Bull Creative for putting together these videos. Please like, subscribe, and share with your friends.